Linear inequalities. So today we're going to take a look at inequalities, and this may be the first time for you um, ever having seen some of these things mathematically. So um, I'm going to go through some definitions of some symbols and meanings and some examples to start off with. So uh, let's make a little chart. And our chart will start off with three headings, symbol, meaning, and uh, example. And I've got five different symbols to give you. So the first one is an equal sign with a line through it. And that means not equal to. And our example would be something like 2 does not equal 5. Our next symbol looks like this. And that is the less than symbol. For example, negative 5 is less than 10. A symbol similar is the greater than symbol, and an example might be 3 is greater than 1. And the last two symbols combine these. One is this symbol, which means less than or equal to. And examples could be 2 is less than or equal to 2, because 2 is equal to 2. Or you could have 2 is less than or equal to 10 being a true statement because 2 is less than 10. And finally, we have a symbol this direction, and that's greater than or equal to. And so negative 3 is greater than or equal to itself because it's equal to itself. Or you could have one where you say negative 3 is greater than or equal to negative 5 because negative 3 is greater than negative 5. Let's take a look at what these things look like graphically, which means on a number line. So here's a number line, and on this number line I want to add in the graphical representation of the first example, which will be x is greater than 5. So numbers that are greater than 5, well, 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. So the way that we show that is I can get really, really close to 5, like 5.1, that's totally fine. 5.01, that's totally fine. But I can't actually get to 5. And the way that we show that you can get really close to 5 but not include 5 is using an open circle. So when you have greater than or less than, use an open circle on a number line. And then indicate which direction the solutions are. So x is bigger than 5, so a number like 6 is bigger than 5, or 7 is bigger than 5. And there's two different ways you can do this. One way is to simply draw a line right along the axes. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit difficult to see. So another option is to draw a line up and then across in the direction that you want it to go in. And that's just a little bit easier to see on a number line. I actually don't mind which you use. Um, just to uh, make sure that it's nice and clear. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. If you wanted to show x is less than or equal to 5, well, now we have 5, but it could be equal to 5. So if you have less than or equals or greater than or equals, the way that we show that as a graphical representation is to use a closed circle. And now I want to show which direction this is going or where the solutions are. So a number like 0 is less than 5, so it must be in our solutions. So again, I can draw my line straight along the uh, number line, or I can show it above the number line. And with the arrow, it means it's continuing forever, so you don't have to uh, draw it all the way to the edge, um, especially if you're a long way away from it but uh, make sure you add that arrow in to show that it is all of those solutions. Let's just try one more. And in this case, we'll do x is, uh, no, not less than, uh, yeah, less than. x is less than negative 1. So here's negative 1. It's uh, not equal to, so I leave it as an empty circle. And less than are numbers like negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So if you want to remember things, this is generally less than, and this direction is greater than. OK, one more example, a little bit of a different type of question, uh, non-graphing. 
And the question is, which of the following numbers are solutions to negative 3x minus 1 is greater than 5? So here's a little um, inequality expression, or a linear inequality. And I want to know which out of these numbers, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3, which of these numbers are solutions to this? And like we did in the first um, time that we saw these, a couple of units back, um, where these were equal signs rather than inequalities, these were equalities, uh, the one way to test and see if a point satisfies an equation is to substitute it in and see if one side's equal to the other side. Well, with these ones, we want to substitute the points in and see if the inequality is true. So I'm going to start off by substituting in 3. So I have negative 3 times 3, take away 1, and is that greater than 5? So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, take away 1, which is negative 10, and negative 10 is not greater than 5, so 3 is not a solution. And then I go and do that with 2. So now I substitute 2 in for my x value, and I do 3 times 2, negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6, take away 1, and that will be negative 7, and negative 7 is not bigger than 5 either, so it's not that one as a solution. Let's try 1. Well, substituting in 1 will provide me with negative 3 take away 1, which is negative 4, and negative 4 is not bigger than 5, so 1 is not a solution. Substituting in 0 will give me 3 times negative 3 times 0, which is 0, 0 take away 1, which is negative 1. 0 is not a solution. You can see this is a fairly tedious way of doing this, and we will have a shortcut later on. Um, we'll try negative 1. Uh, negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. 3 take away 1 is 2. 2 is still not greater than 5. And I can try negative 2. Negative 2 times uh, negative 3 is 6. 6 take away 5 is 5. 5 is greater than 5. Still not true. 5 is greater than or equal to 5, but it's not greater than, strictly greater than 5. But I can see that this pattern is continuing, and as I substitute in negative 3, and I end up with negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, I end up with a number of 8 on the left-hand side, and 8 is greater than 5. Yay! So the only solution to negative 3x minus 5 is greater than 5, uh, 3x negative 3x minus 1 is greater than 5 is the number negative 3 on this list. Negative 4 turns out to work as does negative 5 and on and on. Okay, we will look at those in more detail later in the unit and uh, we'll look at all of this in class next day. See you then.